Hello team. Good evening. As per my plan, we will have a pipeline process today and we'll try to share the pipeline video over into the my YouTube channel. OK, so let's start. Today we'll have a pipeline process. Pipeline is a special procurement process which we can implement by when we'll receive the goods from a supplier through pipe like oil, gas, water and electricity. Let me repeat the statement. Pipeline is a special procurement process which we can implement by when we'll receive the goods from supplier through pipe like oil, gas, water and electricity. OK, so basically what happened? We are using electricity in our homes, right? So electricity also comes through pipe through comes through the through comes through pipes through cables. We are consuming based on how much quantity we are consuming that much that much of amount we are making payment to the vendor in the same way when vendor will send the goods through pipe to the company company will consume it. How much quantity company will will consume based on, based on that much of quantity vendor company will make payment to the vendor. OK, vendor will send to vendor will send the goods through pipe after. After that company will consume those quantity. How much quantity company is consuming that much of quantity will make the payment to the vendor from the company end. OK, this is called pipeline process. Let me jump to the next slide. So step by step process create a material with pipe material type. Whenever we are going to execute a pipeline process, we need to create a material with pipe material type. OK, so why? What is the reason why we need to uh, use a pipe material type? The, the thing is there are some like configurations are there. The standard configurations from the standard uh, behavior of SAP system. Let's go to the metal type configuration. Go to pipe material type. Select over here is pipeline mandatory is selected. It means what? Any type of custom material you can create custom metal type you can create. If you are going to select pipeline mandatory, whatever it may be the materials is going to be created under this material type. Those particular materials are only applicable for pipeline process only. Those materials are only applicable for pipeline process. OK, so reason this particular special metal types under the special metal types pipeline mandatory has been selected. We have some material. We have some vendor based on that material based on that vendor. We will replicate the scenario right now. OK, based on our nodes. OK, first we need to create a material with pipe metal type that already we have created. Then we'll go for maintain purchasing information record. Maintain purchasing information record. So we need to remember one statement. Purchasing info record is mandatory. <clears throat> Reason this is the special procurement process. Consignment and pipeline both are belongs to special procurement process. OK, and there is no other source are there to like uh, store the price related information. System will check if the purchasing info record is there. If the in the purchasing info record price should be maintained. If the price related information is correctly maintained, then system will call the price whenever we are going to execute about the pipe uh, price settlement document. OK, so for for that reason, purchasing info record is mandatory for consignment and pipeline process. <clears throat> Let's go to T code ME 11. Vendor. This is the vendor fine. This is the material. Purchasing info record plant and we have to select info record category as pipeline. We have to select as info record category as pipeline. Come to purchasing organization data one. Then then it's not required to enter standard quantity is not required to enter because we don't know how much quantity we can consume based on our requirement and number of quantity also we can consume. OK, GR based IV is not required because it is not possible to create any purchase order. It is not possible to create any goods. It is not possible to make it inventorize. It's not possible to for make it stock maintenance, right? It is not possible at all because the reason is directly from pipe only. We are receiving the goods through uh, from the vendor and directly we are going to consume it. It is not possible to make the stock maintenance. OK, so GR based IV is not required. Tax code it is required because it help us for calculating the taxes while making the price settlement document. 
just then enter the price what are the price you have committed with vendor based on the discussion what are the price you have decided that price you need to enter over here then save it whenever we are going to save this pipeline purchasing info record this pipeline purchasing info record how we will get to know with the help of this significance message which is called p with the help of this message p we'll get to know this is the pipeline purchasing info record okay you can go to me 12 for change me 3 uh, me me 13 for display okay so this is called pipeline purchasing info record which we have created successfully then we'll go for maintain invoicing condition record maintenance so invoicing condition record maintenance after making the goods issue also you can do after before making the goods issue also you can do there is no dependency but before making the price settlement also before making the price settlement you have to maintain this invoicing condition record reason invoicing condition record help us for maintaining the uh, if invoicing condition record help us for generating the price settlement document in MRKO. If you are not going to maintain the invoicing condition record, then system won't generate any price settlement document in MRKO. Okay, so we have to remember this statement. Sir. So let's maintain the invoicing condition record. Go to T code MRM1. KONS is the output type for consignment. KONS for output type we can use for pipeline. There is no different output types has been provided by SAP. SAP has been suggested you can use for pipeline, you can use for consignment. Both are same output type we can use. Okay, so enter the output type KONS, click on key combinations. You can use company code or vendor. Okay, based on the that ups to business decisions based on what criteria they need to maintain the condition record. It may be condition company code, it, it may be company code or vendor, right? Company code and vendor, right? So if you'll go for the company code and vendor, n number of times is required. Vendor will get change in real in, in like a, in future perspective, right? If we have to maintain again and again. If you'll go with company code, it's one time maintenance. It is not required to maintain again and again, right? For that is the reason that up to business decision based on that what criteria they need to choose as a company code and vendor or maybe company code. Okay, I'll go with company code. I'll maintain the condition record is already exist. Okay, it's condition record is already exist. I can go to T code MRM2. KONS, go to company code. Click on execute this company. This particular condition record is already maintained based on what criteria? This is the company code. This is a partner function. This is the medium. This is the dispatch time. This is the language. After entering this all, entering this all informations, click on communication. You have to enter the output device. What is the output device actually? The output device called LP, uh, like its output device called is a printer in real time. It's a printer in real time. Okay, you need to verify is a, whenever you are going to maintain the condition record, you are, you are maintaining the correct printer or not. If you are not sure, you can you can check with basis consultant. Basis consultant is a responsible person to tell you about the output device. Okay, you can save this condition record in this way only because it's already maintained. I can go to T code MRM3. I can display this condition record. Okay, click on execute. This condition record is already maintained. Okay. I'll go for already I'll go, already invoicing condition record has been maintained in KONS in T code MRM1. After this, I'll go for goods issue to the cost center with 201 movement type, 201P movement type, right? So what is the T code? Go to T code my go. Select goods issue other 201 movement type with P special stock indicator. P special stock indicator means what? P special stock indicator is a pipeline. Goods issue pipeline for cost center. Goods issue pipeline for cost center. Enter the material. And we for which material you maintain the purchasing info record. Enter the material. How much quantity you need to consume? What is the cost center? And what is the plant? Okay. These are all informations you need to enter. But after entering plant, just drag little bit right hand side you need to enter the vendor also for which vendor you are purchasing those goods right you are receiving this course these all things you need to enter the vendor over here then click on check click on document is okay click on post then display this goods uh, material document go to document information verify the finance doc financial entry document Okay, 
consumption p consumption account has been debited which is called a gbb offsetting inventory posting account has been debited and consignment payable account has been credited this is the accounting entries which we have to remember for the for it will help us in real time it will help us for the at the time of interview purposes as well so offsetting inventory posting gbb has been debited consignment payable account has been credited okay so basically after this what we will do we will go for the price settlement so in t code mrko we will go for the price settlement right let's go to t code mrko okay what is the document we have posted which particular material document means like goods issue document we have posted this is called a material document with the reference to this material document we can post the price settlement okay we can create we can generate a price settlement document with the referencing of this document as well so this company code field is mandatory over into the sps mrk mrk input selection screen this company code field is mandatory by passing company code this all informations also you can pass i'll pass material document what are the process i'm executing right now Cons i'm pro executing pipeline so uncheck consignment what will be the processing status right now it will be in settle because i'm going to settle it right now so display options this particular options you should not select click on execute so after clicking on execute if everything goes correct then system will generate price settlement document successfully if everything if anything if any silly mistake will done then system won't generate any price settlement document okay click on execute what is the status information text document created if any error comes over here only the text message will get printed what is the error message okay but right now document created means successfully posted we'll nullify right now what is the company code what is the vendor what is the material document means which material document means goods issue document you can click on this document you can get see get inside of the document you will nullify okay is it 201p document type or what 201p only there's the same goods issue consumption goods consumption document type from the cost center through from pipeline okay this is the material year this is the document date plant material how much quantity how many number of quantity you have withdrawal and what is the amount this particular amount has been calculated from purchasing info record so 40 40 rupees 40 quantity into 103 is equal to 4120 rupees you can go to this 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 is the this is called price settlement document sir this price settlement document has been generated which is called accounting document click on this input tax has been debited gi consignment payable account has been debited vendor account has been created this is the accounting entries okay so including tax this is called 4861 total goods value will be the 4120 rupees plus 7741 plus 60 rupees 60 pesa total is 4861 point 60 pesa okay this is called price settlement document successfully created but if i need to display this document how can i go for display this document so if i'll click on execute with the same with the same options if i'll click on execute system will tell that key there is no document selected i have to select over into the processing status in display select display click on execute system will give a warning message press enter system will allow and system will display this document right now the message will be information information message will be settled okay in this way you can achieve the pipeline process or else you can complete the pipeline process complete successfully okay so thank you please let me know if any questions you can comment you can put your comments okay and uh, you are, if video is fine then please subscribe my channel and please share the uh, share the videos whoever it is required thank you all